Hello learners. Today I will teach you the poem John Brown of your ISC course. Now the poem John Brown is written by Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is an American poet who was born in 1941. Now this poem John Brown is in the form of a ballad. Now what is a ballad? A ballad is a poem or a song which narrates a story. Now this poem is of five of twelve stanzas with no rhyme scheme. Now here the story as it goes in here the protagonist is John Brown. Now we will just see the first stanza. John Brown went off to war to fight on a foreign shore. His mama sure was proud of him. He stood straight and tall in his uniform and all. His mama's face broke out all in a grin. So here, John Brown, he went to war, went to fight in a war on a foreign show, means foreign land. And his mama, means his mother, was very proud of his son, of her son. John Brown because he stood straight that is he stood handsome in his uniform as a soldier and his mother's face mama's face means his mother's face broke out all in a grin means she was so proud of him that it broke out in a wide smile next time oh son you look so fine I'm glad you're a son of mine you make me proud to know you hold a gun. Do what the captain says. Lots of medals you will get. And we'll put them on the wall when you come home. So the mother is very proud of her son being a soldier. She tells to her son when he is going for the war that he should. He looks very fine. Means he looks very good. I am glad you are a son of mine. And she confesses, she says that she is very proud, she is very glad that he is her son. You make me proud. That is the mother is, says that she is making her proud to know that she is, he is holding the gun. He is a soldier, he is holding the ground. She is feeling proud that he comes back. And she tells to him that she he should do whatever the captain tells so that he can bring all the medals. He achieves all the medals in the war and brings him, brings them to home which she will display in her, in her house, in her, all, her, uh, all in her house. When he comes back home, he will bring the medals and he, she will display them on all the shelves in her house. Third stanza, yours. As that old train pulled out, John's ma began to shout, telling everyone in the neighborhood, that's my son, that's about to go, he's a soldier now, you know. She made well sure her neighbors understood. So in this stanza, as the train pulled out means, as the train left with the passengers, with John Brown also left for the foreign shore. She went on telling to her neighbor, neighborhood, in her neighborhood, to all the neighbors that her son has gone for the war and he was a soldier. She was not, actually she was not understanding the pain and violence of the war. What is, the, what he will be going to face in the war. But she is only proud to see the attire of a soldier and the smartness in the uniform. And so she is proud of her son being a soldier. Next stanza of yours. She got a letter once in a while and her face broke into a smile as she showed them to the people from next door. And she bragged about her son with his uniform and gun. And these things you called a good old-fashioned war. Oh, good old-fashioned war. So she, when he went away to the war, then she got a letter once or twice and her face used to be used to show the gladness she had about her son and it broke into a smile 
and she showed them to all the people in the neighborhood and she kept on bragging bragging means she went on talking about her son that uh, uh, her son that he was a soldier wearing the uniform and holding a gun and these thing you called a good old fashioned war so the poet is pointing out that these fascinations about war these idealisms about war these romanticism about war is actually really old fashioned now what happens people have understood that what is war only the people are only the soldiers are fighting for a useless cause only the cause only the soldiers are fighting for unnecessary pride which which what happens which ruins the soldier kills the soldier as well as it destroys the family also so all these romanticism is what it at the back of all these romanticism there is the horrific the horrific reality that is always there which the soldiers have to face so therefore the poet says it's a good old fashioned war then the letters ceased to come for a long time they did not come they ceased to come for about 10 months or more so the letters stopped to come and the letters did not come for more than 10 months then a letter finally came to say go down and meet the train your sons are coming home from the war then after 10 months a letter came telling the mother that she can go down to the railway station and see her son coming home she smiled and went right down now still she is in the pride of a son wearing the uniform of a soldier holding a gun but she did not know what was beneath that uniform what he was facing so she very proudly she went right to the railway station and she looked everywhere around but she could not see her son in sight but as all the people passed she saw her son at last so she kept on looking for her son but she could not see her son when all the people went away then she could see her son at last when she did she could hardly believe her eyes so when she saw her son she could believe she could not believe what she was she saw she could not she could not was not able to recognize her son who was standing in front of her because he was he was badly injured oh his face was all shot up and his hand was all blown off and he wore a metal brace around his waist he whispered kind of slow in a voice she did not know while she could not even recognize his face oh lord not even recognize his face so in this stanza the condition of the soldier is is reported and he says and the poet says that his face was all shot up that is it was all wounded he was a in a critical state he was wounded his hands were blown off and he wo- was wearing a metal brace metal brace means a metal belt which supports his waist supports the waist and the soldier son john brown whispered in a very soft way very spoke very softly and the mother could not recognize his face could not identify his face because it was fully blown shot up it was fully injured and then she said oh lord not even recognize his face that is she could not recognize his face because all her all her pride of her son being so looked so nice looking so nice in his uniform with his gun all vanished at that moment oh tell me my darling son pray tell me what they done so in the next stanza the mother is urging till asking her son that what the war has done to him how see how how dear is the son she says tell me my darling son the son is very dear to her and she asks him to tell her she requests him to tell her what the war has done to him 
how is it you come to be this way then she asked that well, how it is how you have come into this condition he tried his best to talk but his mouth could hardly move that is his john brown's physical condition did not allow him to speak and what happened here he was fully injured so he was unable to speak and the mother had to turn her face away in grief of seeing her son's condition which was badly wounded and she was totally wounded in the war don't you remember ma when i went off to war so john brown tells don't you remember ma when i went off to war you thought it was the best thing i could do i was on the battle ground and you were home acting proud you were you wasn't there standing in my shoes so john brown says that john says very sarcastically the poet mentions here that sarcastically john brown actually question is mother that mother idea of war he asked her if she remembered the way she was proud when he was leaving for the war and while he was in the battle ground she went on bragging about her son and she showed it to everyone she told about and she proudly went on saying about her son and then the john brown tells that of course at that time she was not facing the ruthlessness of war she was not in his shoes she was not actually she did not know what was the she was not aware of the reality of war she did not face the battleground herself and that the thought of war was always she was she used to think very gloriously but john brown reminds her that she was not in the shoes she had to face the harsh battleground the the fur- fierce furious fighting the battle battleground oh when i thought what when i was there god what am i doing here am i trying to kill somebody or die trying but the thing that scared me most was when my enemy came close and i saw that his face looked just like mine so john brown says that when he was in the battleground he he was really moved and he entreated god he prayed to god that what the damn thing he was doing there what actually he was doing there he was trying to kill people and when he came close to his enemy's face he saw that his enemy's face was just like his so what they were both the enemy as well the john brown both were the victims of war both were facing the same consequence of the war being wounded or killed in the war and i could not help but think through the thunder rolling and stink that i was just a puppet in a play and through the roar and smoke the string is finally broke and a cannon ball blew my eyes away so john brown says that while he was contemplating while he was thinking about his enemy a cannon ball came and hit his eyes and he was his eyes were blown off and in that time he realized that what was he he was just a puppet in the hands of the government of the country in the on the hands of the leaders of the country all the soldiers were, are the just the puppet in the hands of the leaders of the country and what is the ultimate reality that they are all injured wounded or killed and war brings only futility there is no good result from the war as he turned away to walk his ma was still in a shock she was fully shocked to see her son in that was condition and she could not believe she could not still believe her eyes at seeing the metal brace that helped him stand that is the metal belt which helped him to stand there but as he turned to go he called his mother close and he dropped his medals down into her hand so as he moved on in his wearing his metal brace he dropped all the medals into the hands of the mother so what is it this dropping of the medal is shows the disgust of the soldier that how the war has only brought brought suffering to him and this last line is perhaps it ends in an ironical note that taking the medal 
the mother is not happy but she understands the reality of the of the war so here the poem actually what is it pointing out it negates the concept of glorifying the war and it also what is war it is a means of social destruction wherein the youngsters are forced to serve as cannon fodder and they suffer in the war so thank you students please subscribe and press the bell i button so that all the notifications can go to you i hope you all have understood the poem and don't forget to share like and subscribe thank you students